Welcome to Top Stories Today. Please subscribe and then check notification box to get all breaking news alert. Breaking. Major news from North Korea. Trump taking direct action now. For the first time in decades, the world is cautiously optimistic that relations with unpredictable North Korea might be getting beyond the road to recovery. North Korea's petulant dictator has spent months threatening to attempt world domination via newly acquired nuclear devices. However, South Korea, Japan, and the United States have met the threat with a show of strength that would be difficult for any country to overcome. Because no one is interested in an all-out war, the United States, along with other countries, have ended their trade arrangements with the tiny dictatorship in order to try and pressure them into a non-violent solution. That put a huge strain on an already underproducing country whose population wasn't doing well before imports ended. While countries around the world, including the United States, are very sympathetic to the citizens of the country, the best thing that any of us can do at the moment is attempt to keep the nation from engaging in a war that would no doubt end with the lives of millions of North Koreans losing their lives. To that end, President Trump, along with other world leaders have been trying to get the North Korean dictator, Kim Jong-un, to agree to a diplomatic solution to their nuclear threats. Finally, there has been some news out of Korea that gives hope the nation will consider standing down. According to Fox News, Kim Jong-un has been speaking to his South Korean counterpart, agreeing to at least the idea of peace with the rest of the world. President Trump said on Tuesday the U.S. is ready to go hard in either direction after North Korea promised to not use nuclear or conventional weapons against Seoul and expressed a willingness to hold talks with the United States on denuclearization. President Trump tweeted hours after South Korea's presidential national security director Chung Ae-yong released a statement detailing his rare two-day visit to North Korea. He praised the possible progress but remained cautious. Possible progress being made in talks with North Korea. For the first time in many years, a serious effort is being made by all parties concerned. The world is watching and waiting. Maybe false hope, but the U.S. is ready to go hard in either direction. Trump tweeted. The Hermit Kingdom added that it's willing to give up its nuclear weapons if military threats against North Korea subsides, Chung said hours after leaving Pyongyang. The North site clearly affirmed its commitment to the denuclearization of the Korean peninsula, and said it would have no reason to possess nuclear weapons should the safety of its regime be guaranteed and military threats against North Korea removed, Chung said in a statement, according to Yonhap News Agency. Chung, who led a 10-member South Korean delegation to Pyongyang for the two-day visit, said the North is ready to have heart-to-heart -heart talks with the U.S. about the regime's potential denuclearization and normalization between the countries. It made it clear that while dialogue is continuing, it will not attempt any strategic provocations, such as nuclear and ballistic missile tests, the statement continued. North and South Korea agreed to hold summit talks in April at the border. The leaders will establish a hotline communication channel to lower military tensions, Chung added. The comments mark a major change in tone after months of bombastic threats by the rogue regime to keep developing its nuclear and missile program. Last month's Pyeongchang Olympics sparked the first talks between the two Koreas that followed a flurry of cooperative steps taken to ease tensions during the Winter Games. North Korea sent a delegation of athletes, cheerleaders, art troop members and officials to Pyeongchang for the Olympics. Kim's sister, Kim Yo-jong, labeled by the South's media as Kim Jong-un's Ivanka, attended the opening ceremony and met with South Korean President Moon Jae-in over a three-day visit. At one point, she even wrote of her wishes for closer ties in a guest book at South Korea's presidential office. I expect Pyongyang and Seoul to get closer in the hearts of our Korean people and the future of unification and prosperity will be advanced, Kim wrote in Korean in the guest book, according to Yonhap News Agency. But the future of unification phrase means something far more sinister for the Kim family and his regime. North Korea has touted unification as a final victory to the Korean War that ended in an armistice in 1953. In Pyongyang's view, unification means Kim's brutal dictatorship would overcome the South's government. There have been two summits, one in 2000 and another in 2007, held between Kim's late father, Kim Jong-il, and two liberal South Korean presidents. They resulted in a series of cooperative projects between the Koreas that were scuttled during subsequent conservative administrations in South Korea.
it's encouraging to see that the president and other world leaders are both accepting this olive branch, and also inspecting it for poisonous spiders. No one believes that Kim Jong-un woke up one day with a heart for public service. He either finally came to his senses and realized that if it came to war, he would be animated. Or, he thinks he's got another shot at reuniting North and South Korea. As the president stated, they're ready for either option. What do you think about this? Please share this news and scroll down to comment below and don't forget to subscribe Top Stories today.